So, final quarterfinal preview for this year's World Cup. It's the host nation Russia against Croatia. Potentially the least heralded matchup from a history point of view, as those nations are both relatively young, and so there's not too much history between the two of them. Um, but that's why I included also the USSR and Yugoslavia records uh, and that's also the reason because I keep adding that this is already my fifth attempt at this video uh, because I always see things that are not quite right or that can be added that I forgot to do. I hope this time is my lucky charm. Fifth time is the lucky. Game will be played in Sochi today in the evening, 9 o'clock Moscow time, I mean 8 o'clock in, uh, in Central Europe and 2 o'clock on the East Coast in America. Let's get right to it. We have uh, only two competitive matchups between Russia and Croatia in their current state, which happened in Euro 2008 qualifying, uh, in a group that also included England, where both the nations, as the English fans might still remember, made it through. And yeah, it was two goalless draws, one in Moscow and one in Zagreb. There was also a friendly uh, played in Russia where uh, Croatia won 3-1, this was more recent. But if I look at the history, there's a little bit more. Um, the USSR and Yugoslavia played the inaugural European Championship final in Paris, 2-1 in overtime. They also met at the World Cup uh, in the group stage in 62, where the Soviet Union won. But that was actually unlucky because they had to play the hosts Chile in the quarters and Yugoslavia got to play Germany. Um, yeah, Yugoslavia made it. They finally overcame the Germany curse, as we will see, while... Um, the host nation won against uh, the Soviet Union. And there was also then a quarterfinal playoff, you can say, between Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union, uh, which the Soviets won 3-0 on aggregate, again a 0-0 in there. So uh, not many goals in this rivalry in competitive matchups. There are a lot of goalless draws. In the early years, it was clearly the Soviet Union that dominated. But as of late, uh, especially since uh, um, Russia took the place of the Soviet Union. Um, the history goes more towards Croatia. They have been performing much better as of late. Accolades. Well, um, not that thin if we include the USSR and Russia. We have at the World Cup, the USSR finished fourth in 1966. Croatia finished third in 1998 and as Yugoslavia fourth in 1962. Um, the Soviets, of course, were um, continental champions, European champions in 1960 uh, with a runner-up Yugoslavia. No golden balls, but there was a golden boot for each of those, and as Russia and Croatia to boot. Uh, Oleg Salenko, of course, with his six goals in 94, five of which came against Cameroon. So in three games he scored six goals, which is quite remarkable. However, if you go to my blog, I have a series on the greatest World Cup goal scorer, which reminds me I have to actually post a video on how the goal scoring goes at this World Cup according to my uh, point system, uh, that he's not rated as highly, but still six goals and especially five goals in one game, that's an awesome achievement and he uh, should not be discounted. He deserved to win that golden boot as well. He had to share it with Risto Stoichkov of Bulgaria. And then there's Davos Shuka, who also scored six goals, albeit over a lot more games, uh, in 98 when Croatia made it all the way to third place in France. Current form. Yes, this gets a little bit of a damper in both cases because of the more recent matchups, which both ended in a penalty shootout. But yeah, uh, Russia had... Uh, very convincing showing against Saudi Arabia, beating them 5-0 was way more than anyone expected, so near perfect score there. Similar against Egypt, they um, were maybe slight favorites, however beating them by 3-1 was also something uh, of a, a little bit unexpected and therefore a good achievement right there. Then they fell apart against Uruguay pretty fast, as the underdogs they still get a 16% score here. And then yeah, for Spain they fully deserve, uh, even with a draw, uh, to get more than 60% because that was everything but expected that um, Russia will get a draw from Spain and then even advance uh, through the knockout round. So I get an average form for Russia of 68%. Uh, Croatia uh, is a little bit more interesting. They had a very solid start against Nigeria, 2-0, more than expected, then a perfect score against Argentina, 
the game was tied for a one half and then Croatia took over the latest when Caballero made the big mistake. Against Iceland I only counted half because Croatia played not really with the second string squad but not with the strongest squad. Um, they were lucky against Iceland to be honest. Uh, Iceland had many scoring chances but the few that Croatia had they made and they won so this gives them also a really high score there and then against Denmark this was and most will agree the most disappointing performance so far um, that they had to go to penalty shootout they were the better team they were the favorite um, so they had to eventually go through so average form for Croatia 80% which is higher than Russia who already has a loss uh, on their record let's look at the quarterfinal record and this is really a lot of history here uh, Russia has four top eight finishes as USSR um, so all the quarterfinals listed here are Back in the day when we still had the Soviet Union, 58, they lost to Sweden in the quarters to nothing, 62, again against the host nation, uh, we already talked about it, against Chile 2-1. In 66, they finally made it over the hurdle, uh, beating Hungary, which is actually for that time was quite an intriguing matchup, 2-1. And in 1970, as favorites, they lost to Uruguay in overtime. Uh, Uruguay was a very staunch defending team. And yeah, got the better of them, and Uruguay finished fourth in that World Cup. Uh, Yugoslavia has actually a lot more. They were already participants in the first World Cup, where they lost to the host nation 6-1. They have, Yugoslavia has a total of six top eight finishes, and we have five quarterfinals. There was just one group stage in 74, where they were showing, but they also have a top eight finish as Croatia. So, we already said 6-1, they lost to um, Uruguay. Then, the big Yugoslavia-West Germany matchup. Uh, 54 0 2, they lost to the what who to the team that would eventually go on to win it all. 58 2 0, then they lost 1 0 in 58, and then 62. I'm sure those two didn't want to see each other anymore, but yeah, Yugoslavia beat the Dragon, but yeah, only made fourth place. Then it took a while until Yugoslavia um, again made it, but this was also due to the format. 1990, they made it to the quarterfinal with a great team. Overall, uh, right on the cusp of Yugoslavia breaking up, I still, um, I know they don't didn't get along very well once the authority was gone, but that Yugoslavia broke apart. That Raptor was a great, great, great football team. I really, I really think this this team, if it would have stuck together at the '94 World Cup, they could have been a force to reckon with. I think they were even among the favorites to win Euro '92, but you know that never means much. Given that Denmark won and they were in the same qualifying group, you just can't imagine what they would have done. But in 1990, this team was still young, but managed a quarterfinal uh, showing where they lost to Argentina on penalties, where they were the better team. And that was the first penalty shootout that Argentina won at that World Cup. So 2-3. I think Maradona even missed a penalty in that one. And then, yeah, that's a mistake. They won 3-0 against Germany as Croatia. Uh, it flipped that result. That was the big one for uh, Croatia. They won 3 0 against Germany. Uh, sorry, so there's still one mistake in there, but I'm not going to redo the video now because of that one. Now, today I have Croatia favored with 67%. Um, I also think they will play in the dark jersey. I guess Russia will play in the red one, but I can also see them playing in the white one, but I think they will play in the red one. And there's a 27%. 27, percent chance of overtime that I get it out so yeah will be interesting let me know if this video was interesting if you agree with my assessment uh, what you think about this matchup sorry for the last mistake but I just didn't want to do it a sixth time and yeah I will talk next to you after the Sweden England matchup and I'll talk to you soon then if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.